Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here the first of several new product previews here today and we're kicking things off with not one but two boxes of the brand new 2022 Top Stadium Club Baseball. Now I really enjoy the Stadium Club releases because I love the imagery that Tops uses for the sets. You know, Stadium Club is one of those sets that is known for the gorgeous base cards and I'm excited to see what we can find here this afternoon. So another great thing about this set is that each hobby box does yield two autographs per box and most of the time at a stadium club we do see on a card autographs for both of them so very excited to see what we can find now other years we found some really cool numbered parallels i like what they do with the variations sometimes we have black and white different color filters i really just love the photography from the set and i'm curious to see what tops has put into the product this year so boss man gave me two boxes to check on out because we actually did get in a few cases of stadium club it's been nice here at the shop we got a few extra cases of ginter we got some extra cases of stadium club Looks like we're going to be getting a lot of Heritage High Number as well. So cool to get these products back in stock. You know, last year, year and a half, it's been very difficult for us. You guys have even been asking, Allie, where's all the baseball? It's like, I don't know. But you know what? Better late than never. Starting to get more and more product here, which is always nice to see. Because always nice to have stuff on the shelves instead of being completely barren. But yes, two boxes. So double trouble here. Two autos, two boxes. Let's see what we can find here for a total of four autographs. And of course, the one per box or so chrome parallels. But yes, very, very excited. I've got Tiny Knife ready to go. Let's go ahead and get on into our first of six openings here today. Bye snapping us into the corner and let me chat yes i have enough top loaders enough sleeves i think we are ready to go so on the box this year we do have pete alonzo for the mets and then let's see if it says anything else just 16 packs eight cards per pack that did not focus there but uh just looking around yep look for your chrome parallel cards and it did say there no purchase necessary see pack for details so i'll go ahead and give that information to you guys I will say one thing that I don't like about Stadium Club is I just don't like the way the boxes are more horizontally oriented. I don't know why they're like this, but I feel like they're too long. They're very awkward, like to store, which is a very, very not real like complaint, but just slightly annoying. We do have our oversized box topper here, Giant Jose Altuve, so card number one sixty in the sets. Altuve. Alrighty, so where is this NPN info? Oh, there it is. All right. So for the cost of an index card, an envelope, and a stamp, you can send off to that address there. NPN 2022 Top Stadium Club BB NPN Group that says N PO Box 5013 Scranton, Pennsylvania 18505. One card per envelope mailed separately, postmarked by February 8th, 2023. Received by February 15th, 2023. So you put your name and complete address on a 3 by 5 card in a number 10 envelope. So envelope, index card, and a stamp. You get a chance to get some free cards from Tops. All right. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Why are there upside down cards? All right. Well, separate out the rookies as per usual. Looks like the two upside down cards here at the start of the pack were both rookies. All right. We do have a Mike Trout refractor. That's cool. A refractor. And then we have a red parallel, Ryan Velati here. Rookie for the Rockies. Unnumbered red. George Brett. That's cool. And then Cal Rally here. Rookie. So lots of rookies here in pack one. So far, enjoying the images. I'm going to sleeve up our Trout refractor. Not going to sleeve or Ryan Red here, just because he's not numbered. Don't want to sleeve all of them if that ends up being a pretty common parallel in the box. Uh, put our trout here. All right. Interesting that we're starting off upside down. Seabold rookie, Cabrera, Austin Meadows, we do have Tyler Gilbert's rookie. That is a cool picture of Nolan Ryan. Oh, the little dog. The dog is super cute. 
The number 23 there on the Nolan Ryan. Part of me wonders if this is a photo variation. So the number code ends in 060. And the base does as well. So that's just the base. That's cool. That's a really cool picture. We have our first insert here, Beam Team. Not crazy about the Beam Team design this year. Uh, it's very, right? It's supposed to be like that. Yeah, because of where the top's trademark info is. I'm like, it looks very off-center. It's, it's to me, it's a... Uh, I'm not, I'm not into this kind of off-centered on purpose. Well, it's Ichiro here. It's the same issue I had initially with this year's base design for Ginter. It just looks off-centered. Ginter's fun. You guys know I love Ginter. Especially my dinosaur relic, you know. But, yeah, not into the intentionally off-centered stuff. So, not loving this year's beam team. Perry Larkin has a cool image as well. I really like the not on the field ones. It reminds me of the images that Upper Deck will put on their canvas cards in their hockey products. And also we saw it in the AEW as well, actually. Uh, canvas cards. I just, you know, they have really cool pictures. You know, the inaction on the field shots are really cool, but sometimes I just like seeing everybody just doing different things. So I'm really liking these images. We have Hoy Park here, rookie, red. Reed Detmer's rookie. Jeff Bagwell. Yeah, I wanted to make sure, because I've seen different colors on the card numbers. I want to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Like, it was like a secret parallel, but they're all different colors. Okay. Bruhan rookie. You have Garrett Cole here. Uh, AJ Alexi rookie. And a red, Matt Olson. Bobby Delbeck. That's a cool picture. With the stadium shot. Oh. Stadium clothes fun. Don't know why these first two cards of the pack. <laughs> I'm really, really digging the base set this year. Really, really enjoying it. Not sure why the first two cards of the pack are upside down, though. I am not uh, not sure why. Oh, look. Interesting. Oh, well, it's a chrome autograph, so it's a sticker. Interesting. Buster Posey here for the Giants. It's a chrome refractor auto. It's number 17 of 25. All right. It's cool. Buster Posey to 25. Initially disappointed that it's a sticker. But it is a, a chrome auto. I don't know that we've seen a chrome auto before. I mean... I know that Tops makes Stadium Club Chrome now. Which is cool, but, you know, interesting when regular Stadium Club also has Chrome in it. Makes it a little odd. But hey, out of 25, we'll take it out of 25 auto for our first of the box. Very cool. All right. So we have our unnumbered red parallels, our sleeve pile. Put Mr. Trout over there. All right, it's Buster Posey, first auto. Then we'd have Team of the Future insert, Julio Rodriguez. Yeah. Is he in like a trash can or something? Or like a, a laundry bin? And <laughs> we have a Duran rookie. That looks cool. This whole entire video is just me like, oh, that's a cool picture. That is a cool picture, though. Look at that. That is super cool. Dave Stewart. All right. We do have on-card rookie auto here. Cutter Crawford for the Red Sox. This is a very interesting signature. So, base rookie auto, Cutter Crawford. Team of the future, Fernando Tatis Jr. Awkward. All right, he's still, still out. Banned, on break. I don't know how to put it, <laughs> but he's junior there. Team of the future. Do, do, do. Joe Ryan, rookie. Andrew Benatendi. 
in the middle. Anytime we see a card in the middle, I get a little suspicious. I remember other years we've had photo variations in Stadium Club. Now, JT Real Muto here, red. Hey, Mariana Rivera, that's cool. Ah, uh, these cards. I'm loving Stadium Club. I'm going to say not sold on the inserts this year, though. Not loving the designs. Oh, that's a cool Juan Soto. Obligatory. Hey, do you guys know that Juan Soto and I have almost the exact same birthday? He's exactly one year younger than I. Otto Lopez rookie. Frank Thomas. Uh. What? <laughs> why? Why do you have the indentation? Someone was like writing on this card in pen. Tops employee imprint here. What? <laughs> That's awkward. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then it hit the, I saw it hit the light. Yeah, there's some, someone's doing like math or like set building over here. <laughs> Odd. Chris Sale, red parallel. All right. Why? Why are you damaged? Hey, a Wander Rookie. That's cool. Cedric Mullins. Ooh, so we do have a second Chrome here in the box. I'm used to there being one. Maybe other years I've just been unlucky, but it's Refractor here, Jaron Duran Rookie. It's a nice one. Ooh, 19 of 99. So this one, ah, oh, it's orange. I see. So this is an orange Chrome Parallel. 99, Duran. Power Zone, Juan Soto. All right. Oh, Duran is our first numbered card. There's a Siri rookie. There's the regular sized Altuve. Let's go with our Jumbo box topper. Castillo rookie, red Fremil Reyes. Tyler McGill, Alcantara. Deichman rookie. Cody Bellinger. Randy Johnson. It's also a base. Julio Rodriguez, Destiny inserts. Luke Williams, rookie. Pete Alonso, celebratory. That's, is that, uh, are those uh, double bubbles? They look like it. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I wish that there was some sort of context on the back for that. Now we have Zach Short, rookie. It's a close up. We do have a black parallel, JP Crawford. Unnumbered black parallel. That's a cool Jeter picture. So really strong, really strong base design. I like the framing of the cards. I like the images for the base set. It's a cool Ted Williams picture. I like these retired stars. Like, they're really, really cool images. Uh, I'm still not sold on the inserts, I will say. The inserts, I feel this year, are a little blah. Carlton Fisk, red. Spencer Strider. And Pujols. So even though, you know, Beam Team, Power Zones, they're the same inserts we see year to year in Stadium Club. Not loving their designs this year. But the base, base is, base is a home run as usual. Pun not intended. I just, <laughs> I swear that wasn't intentional. Uh, Xander Bogarts. All right, we have Black Parallel, Eddie Murray. And Corey Seager. All right. Back-to-back -back Black Parallels, not expecting that. Griffey Jr., 
And Hank Aaron. All right, two packs left here in box one. We'll go ahead on into box two, do our recap at the end of both boxes. We have a damaged Ryan Mountcastle. That's unfortunate. Different kind of damage than that written on Frank Thomas. But damage nonetheless. Power Zone, Stanton. Bloody Rookie. Yepes Rookie. We have Lopez Rookie. We have Byron Buxton, Base Chrome. Oh, that's cool. We have some sort of die cut insert here, Otani. That is an interesting shape. What shape is that? This is a T insert. Hmm. Let me check the pack. T. What are the T's? Um, does it say triumvirates? Ah, yes, they're the ones. Yeah, that's true. The triumvirates. We see those. They put them together. This year, they're chrome. I don't think they were chrome last year. I'm going to sleeve it because it's Otani. And I'm going to sleeve our Byron Buxton chrome. Let me take a look on the pack odds. I just threw you in the trash. and Let me take you out. If there are other assorted... Parallels. There's the red, the black, black and white, blue, rainbow, first day issue, members only, photographer's proof, gold rainbow, base chrome. And the chrome parallels doesn't say anything about photo variation, so I'm not going to check through the base. We're just going to go ahead and slide on into box number two. So we had a chrome auto, the 25, and a base regular paper auto rookie on card. We had the Duran orange for our... Numbered non-auto of the box, only regular numbered card. All right. Do you have a different box topper? I really like the jumbo cards. We have Ricky Henderson here, card number 49. I like a piece of styrofoam attached. All righty. Triumvirates look cool. The rest of the inserts, I think, are a bit plain, as I was saying. But, you know, Stadium Club, the inserts are cool, but you're really, you know, it's the base that everyone's after, but still. Oh, that's a cool Matsui picture. Oh, this is so much fun. J-Rod. A-Rod who? I only know J-Rod. We have Red, Ricky Henderson. Ernie Clemens rookie, De La Cruz rookie, Stan Musial base, Berger, oh, photographer's proof, all right, are you numbered? No, but the photographer's proofs are quite rare, one in 513 packs, all right, Jake Berger here for the White Sox, odd that you are not numbered, <laughs> that's a, I like his glasses, it is MLG 360 no-scope glasses. I like it. Does that, those are some, those are some old style memes, man. I, that was, I think, was it middle school? When those MLG meme videos first started like being super hot on YouTube. That's hilarious. I need a pair of those sunglasses. I'd never wear them because I have to wear normal glasses, but I want some. <laughs> Interesting that the photographer's proofs are not numbered. Rivas rookie. Power Zone Acuna Jr. Krause rookie. And we have our triumvirate to the box here. Matt Veerling. Oh, no, this is just... Oh, we yes, I was correct. All right, never mind. So we have the cool chrome Nolan Ryan here with his dog. And we have Mike Trouts. Since you and Otani are on the same team, do you guys, like, fit together? It doesn't look like you two go together. I believe the triumvirates are supposed to, like, make, like, a little puzzle or something. I think they're three pieces. Bots. 
Another star player, Mike Trout. Go ahead and give him a sleeve. And sleeve up the Nolan Ryan. We have Rivera rookie. We have a black Otani. Black parallel. Brandon Marsh rookie. <laughs> what a cool picture of Correa. Contreras rookie. Different Contreras. Red Zach shorts. Kyle Muller. Jackson Kawar, Jake Berger, regular. Oh, we do have Lucas Giolito is our first auto here of box two. So non-rookie auto. I like how that ball's in motion here. It's coming right at our face. Ah, the Lucas Giolito rookie, or not rookie, non-rookie auto. Messed up. Bobachette's team of the future. All right, so I'm wondering if just the Chrome autos are stickers. Nice that our paper autos so far have been both on card. Still due for another here in box two. Hopefully see some more numbered parallels as well. Ichiro Bays. We have Mike Trout, Triumvirate. Again. Oh, you're numbered. All right. Uh, you're also crimped. So what is the difference here? See a black parallel maybe? Down here? Difference? I'm guessing you're a black parallel, but like I said, you got it's a little crimped up there. This is number 28 of 99. Poor Mr. Trout. A little damaged. It's unfortunate. But I'm guessing that's a black parallel. So box two here has had a little bit of clumpiness. Don't think it was last year. I believe it was 2020 Stadium Club that we saw some pretty severe issues with the cards sticking together. Mookie Betts here. That is Destiny inserts. Box one was fine. Box two here a little clumpy. They did come out of the same case. I just grabbed the two boxes on top of the case. Uh, so, interesting. It's not like they've had different storage conditions or anything like that. Josiah Gray and Red, Pete Alonzo. All the little double bubbles. Hey, Andre Dawson here, Expos. Obligatory, I have to swipe any Expo cards for my mom. No. That Dawson didn't exist. You guys didn't see anything. All right, continuing with the pattern of the top two cards being upside down. And autograph, number two of the box, we have Curtis Terry, rookie for the Twins. So one rookie auto, one non-rookie auto is what we've seen in both boxes. Hunter Green, Team of the Future inserts. Aaron Judge, that looks cool. I do find it funny though, like those where they're zoomed out like that, you know, more of the card has not Aaron Judge on it then Aaron Judge imagery, but I like it. <laughs> if I see blasters of this, I, I don't know that I'll commit to a full hobby box, but I found out I like Target and I see some blasters, I might like grab like one or two just to see. You know, retail, as long as you don't ever expect anything, retail can be really fun. And then if you find something, it's like, whoa, I found something. But in general, I expect just, just cool looking base cards when I get any blaster boxes. Why do you have a cardboard cutout? <laughs> Moncada. And then we do have, ooh, are you orange, black? I mean, you are black and white, but why is there orange? Tyler Glasnow here. 
You are unnumbered, but I'm going to assume you are the black and white parallel. Even though you have an orange border. All right, not too many packs left here in box two. Bruhan rookie. Dave Winfield, or Winfield, excuse me. Looks cool. Paul Goldschmidt's black parallel. We Gill rookie and Spencer Torkelson. Red, Bryce Harper. It's a cool color match there. All right, last two packs. Nick Lodolo, rookie. O'Neill Cruz, rookie. Red, Shane Bieber. There's like some weird scratching here. Put you in our weird pile. That's a really cool Ty Cobb image. All right. Last pack. Last pack. That's not baseball. <laughs> Thurman Munson. They, I've, I've been able to steal some cards from my parents this time around. That's cool. Matt Manning, rookie. And then we have Mark McGuire, Power Zone. Jim Palmer. And finishing off with Justin Turner here. All right. So that does it for two boxes of Stadium Club. Yeah, I really like the design. The triumvirate inserts, while they are quite a mouthful, they are my favorite insert this year that we've seen. They look nice in chrome. Too bad we didn't have any that we could put together to, like, make the, make the shape. The rest of the inserts, I feel, honestly, I feel the rest of the inserts were lacking. So let me know what you guys think of this year's Stadium Club insert design in the comments below. We also had some weirdly damaged cards. Corner dings is something, you know, occasionally we see, we expect that. But this uh, red Shane Bieber was scratched. And then, like I said, before this was packed out, somebody wrote on top of this card in pen. Like, on a sheet of paper. I don't know if they were writing... Like a set. I don't know if they were taking notes. Like on the production line, this was supposed to be like recycled. And I just, I don't know if they wrote on like the sheet or what. I'm going to recycle the other two. I'm actually going to just keep this because I think that's interesting. You know, we saw it here. Like anybody could do that. But like we pulled it like that out of the pack. So I feel like that's kind of cool rather than like I just did that on accident. So I'm just going to keep it for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it long term. But it's an interesting little damage pack pulled card there. Out of the two boxes, we did have two rookie on-card autographs, Cutter Crawford and Curtis Terry. And we also had Lucas Giolito here from box two on-card. And box one had that sticker, but chrome auto here, Buster Posey, number 17 of 25. So that's cool. Was disappointed when we first pulled it to see a sticker, but hey, it's number 25, it's chrome, it's Buster Posey, like it's still cool. But Stadium Club, you know, we like Stadium Club for the cool pictures and the on-card autos. But you know what? Still cool. Just was surprised, honestly, to st see a sticker auto in this product. We also had some other cool Chrome cards. We had the Mike Trout, Unnumbered Refractor. And then we had that orange Jaron Duran here, 19 of 99. Unnumbered Photographer's Proof, but one in over 500 packs here on the Jake Berger Rookie. The Black Parallel, Mike Trout, Triumvirate, number to 99. And the unnumbered, Black and White, Tyler Glasnow. So I will say, we did see a couple numbered parallels, but not a whole lot. And we had the one per box base chrome. Box one had the Byron Buxton. Box two here with the really cool Nolan Ryan. Then we had a few black parallels per box. And the reds were more common, the red foil parallels. So I'd have liked to see some more numbered cards. The inserts this year, little blah. The base, especially, especially the legends 
look super cool. That Ty Cobb we saw close to the end of box two was sick. The Nolan Ryan I really like. So I really like the images. The, what was it? Yon Mankata with like a cardboard cutout, like a field of corn or whatever it was. Like those are some really cool pictures. So I still really like this year's product, even though this I felt was a bit lacking. And I feel like we could have seen some more numbered stuff. But there are those unnumbered parallels, the red, the black, the photographer's proof, which are pretty rare. So that was pretty neat, rookie photographer's proof, the black and white. We didn't see any rainbow foil boards this time. We've seen before. Those look really sick. This time we didn't see, but who knows? Perhaps in a personal break, we might find a rainbow foil or two. My favorite insert, like I said, the triumvirates uh, got some nice players. Unfortunately, they don't fit together. They don't fit together, so have to take a look, see what everyone else has pulled from Stadium Club so I can see what that full design looks like on the Triumvirates. But yes, that wraps off this year's Stadium Club release. So you guys know that I like it. I'm curious, what do you guys think of this year's Stadium Club? Like I said, let me know your thoughts on the inserts. They're not doing it for me, but I'm very picky. And I also like a lot of stuff that you guys don't tend to like, like Flux Basketball. <laughs> And I really like Revolution, which actually up next, we'll be checking out the brand new WNBA Revolution Basketball. So if you guys like stuff that's bright and shiny, very obnoxious, just like me, make sure to stay tuned for that opening up next. I would say Revolution is probably like the opposite of Stadium Club. Like Stadium Club's like cool. I feel like, I feel like Stadium Club's like more of a classy product, if that makes sense. Not that bright and shiny stuff like Revolution or like Spectra, things like that are not, but this feels like more mature as opposed to like, like the new kids products, like Revolution. So if you guys are like, mm, Stadium Club's not my jam. I need something more in your face. So you want to stay tuned for that opening up next. But yeah, I like Stadium Club this year. Like I said, if I find a blaster out in the wilds, just for the really cool base cards, definitely want to pick one up. So yeah, I do like that the hobby boxes yield two autos as well. Nice to see that. Majority of them are on card. Could have used more color, but overall, I give Stadium Club this year a thumbs up. So looking forward to reading your guys' comments, your thoughts on this product. But yes, that does wrap off this opening here. So if you guys had fun, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. You know, I've already told you guys to let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here and into that next new product opening here this evening, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Boss Ben and I truly do appreciate it. We do have eight Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Sultari, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans, Bamboo, Butch Corby, Jarrett Chicky, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Genev Zen, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yeah, Stadium Club here 2022. Nice first impression. Hope that I get to check out some more. So that does it here for this one. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in that next video. Bye!